Hello everyone, welcome to my JAXA Advanced Start RP-1 Career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. This is part of the same experiment as the European Space Agency RP-1 Career. That one is sort of the control where we start off with the basic technology right from the start. This one we're going to start in 1970 but also start with advanced technology. So we'll have some of the stuff unlocked in the tech tree. In fact, it'll be exactly what we have unlocked currently in the European Space Agency save. But that's after having played for a little bit. And Otherwise, the settings I'm trying to make sure here are exactly the same as I have it in the European Space Agency uh, career. And also, we have the same mods. So everything is the same. It's just that we're going to be unlocking some technology ahead of time and seeing how that plays out. That's not necessarily going to work out for us. It's obviously going to go quicker in some ways, but the planning is not so obvious because we're not going to be unlocking the parts ahead of time. We're just unlocking the technology. We still have to pay for the part unlocks, and that's pretty expensive. So, as we'll see, I'm going to be hampered a bit by the cost of everything and have to build a much more simpler rocket than I was originally intending, which was basically a replica of the Japanese N-1 rocket, not to be confused with the Soviet N-1 rocket, the Japanese N-1 rocket, which is sort of an adapted Delta rocket. I did this all during a live stream, and so I'll have my sort of live stream tone to the whole thing. Uh, but everything should be fairly well explained, hopefully. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I, the expectation is obviously it's going to go faster than the European Space Agency install. But is it going to work with the contract system, or is there going to be some weirdness? And this is a, just something I'm curious about, and we will see what's going to happen. And we'll also time warp to 1970 again. The first launch was actually 1975. I think it was actually built in 1969, as it turns out, but we'll start a little bit later because their first launch was 1975, so uh, no point starting too early. Um, do I want 1970 or 1971? I think I'll go for just January 14th, 1970. Let's just go with this. Since we didn't do this in the European Space Agency series, I'll try this. I, I, I mean, since we didn't start with this in the European Space Agency series, I'll start with this here. First launch, we'll definitely accept that. Okay, we've accepted that. All right, so now I have to edit the persistent file. <laughs> and what we're going to do, I'm going to copy the tech block from my European Space Agency series, and we'll have exactly what it has unlocked there. Except I'll cut out the little bits where we have unlocked specific parts, hopefully, maybe. That'll work out. Let's see. So, okay. This is the save file that we currently have. The JAXA one. And then this is the European Space Agency one, and we have this block, Research and Development. It's interesting that the start stuff here... There's more stuff here. <laughs> it's the same install with the same parts so I don't know we'll, we'll skip that part we have two science apparently and then these are the ones I've unlocked in the European Space Agency series our okay up to here I don't know about the sciences that's separate so that we're just having the unlock technologies, and we'll see if this works and what problems that might cause. That's the goal, seeing what problems it might cause if you start with advanced technology. It's amazing how few things I've actually unlocked, huh? Hey, there's my parts. <laughs> Okay, so those are the changes I've made. Let's see if it worked. Okay, so it seems to be that we've unlocked all the things that we have unlocked in the ESSA series. Now, we could unlock more because it's 1970, but I think there's a fair amount. Obviously, we haven't done all the orbital rocketry research. We've got other things. Now, JAXA had the N1 rocket. That was actually the first launch from Tanagashima, I think. Okay, yes, it was the first flight from Tanagashima. And its core engine 
it was a Thor rocket. So basically, JAXA initially used the L. Well, it's a MB3-3. I don't know how to search for it in these things. Oh, there's a search field there. MB3-3. Does that work? Uh, that doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> okay, forget that. So much for that search field. Um, this is an LR-79 upgrade. That's close. LR-79 is basically what we want. H1 would not be bad either. And then they had an LE3 engine on the second stage. Which is a 53 kilonewton Arizine NTO engine. So basically an AJ-10. It's basically a Delta. There, there, there might be a little bit of a debate of whether at this point in Jax's history, we should have these things unlocked in particular, but we seem to have the things unlocked that I expected to have unlocked, and so, uh, which is the same stuff from our SS series, except now we have it unlocked by 1970. So, the question is, does that break the contract sort of situation? Does it make it too easy? We haven't unlocked the parts yet. Now, um, <laughs> I have taken the liberty of, because we're playing JAXA, adding anime characters as our administrators. After all, they didn't have any Japanese people. So, um, here we are. Now, they have, the, they have the same benefits as the original, so I didn't want to figure out the balance of it, right? Because if I tried to redo these things, it might become unbalanced. For, uh, some way. Of course, they might have been originally unbalanced. I don't know how they figured out the balance for these administrators anyway, or chief designers, etc. Uh, so, but I kept whatever they had. I don't have quite as many characters as they had, but uh, I have some. I'll, uh, if somebody wants to propose more anime characters that would be fitting, that's fine. We obviously haven't reached a common line, so we can't have an administrator, and uh, these were based on technology, so we have those unlocked already. But we don't have. We have to reach the common line to get an administrator and a sci science satellite for a chief scientist. Um, I did uh, change the name of the the sort of effects to be more correct for the characters. Um, though sometimes I didn't know what to change it to. Like for uh, this character from Planet S. Um, I, I didn't know what to do with the others, but I did change this uh, um, dislike for solid rocket engines uh, to knew what to do with trash. Uh, because, well, uh, if you know the character from the anime, you'll know that that's appropriate. Yeah. So, we've got those. A space bro. Astronaut brother. Very important for the integration speed of human-rated vehicles, obviously. We will, we will try to make more appropriate administrators for our purposes. Alright, so we actually have to get down to building rockets, don't we? We just have to launch something, uh, but we can pick up the Carmen Line one too. Unlocks the following leaders. Um, so... Can we just do it on our first launch? Can we just pass the Carmen Line? Let's see. We've only got 15,000. We have to build a launch pad. But we're getting, gonna get funding, so we could wait a little bit. And again, JAXA didn't launch anything from Tanaga Tanagashima for five years, so after building it. We could go all the way to Mature Avion. Well, but it's gonna cost too much. So, okay, we can't just start out with uh, Advanced Avionics. Mm, we could wait, though. Right, because we're gonna get the funding. How much funding could we? Um, we could pick up uh, early rocket development as well, I guess. Uh, fast on that too, sure. I don't think the Japanese did explain things. We'll try and role play properly. So we will allow ourselves in this case to use an AJ-10 because that's what they used, and there'll be an AJ-10 mid. It doesn't have exactly what they had, I don't think. 
They had a 52 kill Newton one using Erzine and NTO. Gosh, you're gonna have to pay 72,000 to unlock that. The uh, version two is actually the AJ10 118. That's an FJ. I guess that means for Japan or something. <laughs> um, so do I size this? Uh, I, I think I have to size this for the smaller one. The original N1. So then the burn time is just... We should just go with the original then. This one. Because the burn time is only 250 seconds anyway. Purchase. 50,000 for... MHNTO. I think we'll skimp on that. We'll use HTP on this stage. That's too expensive. Okay, then we need a proper Thor first stage. And a proper Thor is 2.44 meters. This one's expensive too. Why are they all expensive? Now burn time was 3 minutes and 37 seconds. Well, we can have an upgrade version, probably. Uh, they're expensive. But we'll need one that at least lasts for long enough. Guess it has to be this one, anyway. That's the only one that has enough burn time. We'll need 350,000 for the unlock cost. <laughs> Can it carry payload? Because we're at like 9,762. We haven't even put the controller on here. I mean, if we're lucky, maybe one ton? I forgot to get Mitsubishi as a contractor. Okay, well, we'll plan the launch complex around this. What do they call the launch complexes at Tanagashima? L-A-N. Fine. L-A-N it is. Maximum tonnage. Well, uh, let's see. Do we have the boosters? Well, I never unlocked solid rocket motors. <laughs> um, let's say this is the minimal arrangement. And so it'll be the minimum tonnage. How big can I make it? Okay, well, we can't even have 80 tons. 75 tons? This will be fine for 75 tons. Okay, and... Height. Well... We probably want a little bit of room. And then if we have boosters, we'll need a little bit of extra. Let's say 4-4. Four, four. This is ambitious. This might be a bad idea. Well, we're gonna build this launch complex, even though it's gonna cost a bundle. And then we have... Unlock cost 314,000. We probably can't afford that. <laughs> the tooling cost is 100,000. I mean, it might actually take us five years to build this. Just like they took. What well, if we just omit the upper stage? But then this will be too light for our launch complex. <laughs> this engine is too expensive. Okay, maybe we should make a small launch complex and do a small rocket. <laughs> uh, we're we're, uh, we're building the big one, but we probably shouldn't rely on it completely. I mean, their payout, these two, is just 168,000, 168,000, so they're not gonna pay for everything. Let's uh, slow that puppy down there. We're not in a hurry. Why why is there an unlock cost of 82,000 here? It's the tank? Forget refined. I wasn't impressed by refined. Even that's 82,000. But we like isogrid. 
Maybe we shouldn't use Ice Grip though. Not for this one. We'll go convention. Conventional is expensive too. Oh, but, but that's the unlock cost for what exactly? The core? I thought we... Oh, because it's an advanced core. Mm. Let's go start. <laughs> let's, let's start by mass. Viking. That's like a precursor to Vanguard. This is the actual Vanguard. Let's just have a Vanguard engine. <laughs> How much? That's still pretty expensive. Steel fuselage. Aluminum. At least we can get aluminum, right? It's not gonna cost that much more. Okay. I mean, we just need to launch and get to 100 kilometers. We don't even have to recover it. We should put some science on. We don't even need the fairing, really. Yeah, you know what? Let's just make it a cone. Can we get some... We've got basic comms. We, we can... We haven't unlocked the upgraded comms yet. We still only have tech level 1 because we have to do that in the R&D building. I'll, even, I'll put both an early TV camera and a basic TV camera. Aha! We need to build a bloody launch complex just for this. <laughs> okay. Mini complex. Maximum tonnage 10. Yes. 2 to 10 is fine. Unlock costs 47,000. Viking Vanguard. This should start with a V, right? Vamped. We'll say vamped. Because it sure as heck needs to be revamped. <laughs> Alright, it's the vamped. Well, we're still technically gaining funds, but probably not enough. Yeah, it's strange playing with the research, with so much of the research done. It's very strange. I feel guilty, this seems like a horrible rocket, but <laughs> anyway. Um, no, we don't have the unlock cost yet, whoops. Okay, well, we have the unlock cost. Oh wait, that's, that's, when? No, we'll need to hire more people. Uh, maybe I should just hire the max. Oh, not 100. Fine. Oh, I can only fit 57 though. The solar panel upgrades and the comm upgrades are the ones we have to pay for separately. Alright, let's see. Is this crazy situation gonna work out? SAS on, throttle up, ignition, please light, okay, go. Uh oh, no, why are you going that way? Don't go that way. No, 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 uh, why are you rocking around like that? Why are you rocking around like that? Success! <laughs> Careful physics! Recover vessel. The VAB. <laughs> I should probably just take the money. Take the money and run. Oh, I probably shouldn't have recovered vessel because it's like, gotta take forever. You know what? Uh, we've got money. Let's tool these things. I'm feeling guilty. Now we need 10,000 to unlock these parts. Um, all moving supersonic, sounds like. You well, know, we should just get space. Well, that's 40,000. Okay, supersonic it is. Well, we don't have enough money to build it. 
so... Oh, no, we do, actually. Okay, barely. I should have called it Vamp 2 just so we don't get the two mixed up, though. But the one with the long rollout time will definitely be the right one. Wait a sec. No, no, the one with the short rollout time. This is so complicated. Um, because we've tooled it and it doesn't understand the tooling of the first one? Whatever. Okay. I'm gonna say us on. Throttle up. Ignition. Launch. I'm not gonna try and turn. We might have to spin stabilize if this one doesn't work. Well, we'll just let it go as high as it can. Being some records or something. Past 500 kilometers. 600 kilometers. We'll still have some more visible imaging to do, but got a bunch of stuff. Maybe in this install I'll need solid rocket motors. Because the N1 had them. But then again, I totally ignored that for my European Space Agency rocket. Wow, those things really actuate quite a lot. Okay, well, whatever this island is. <laughs> well, I didn't actually have to deal with anything. Alright, we passed the common line successfully. Rocket reaches space. Well, it's not like it was the first one. <laughs> okay. We are definitely not attempting that. Okay, are you required? You are required. We need return. Okay. Then we can't do multiple there. And then we can't do the low sp space film return at the same time. They just want us to build more rockets, I guess. Let's just scrap this. We just need to cut it before it gets too high. And then we need a parachute. Not exactly the pod shape I was looking for, but okay. We probably don't have to retool it. We don't. We can put the AJ-10 stage on top of it. And then we'll have a real vanguard, almost. I never got the SRB tech before. We only need two to get this level, but that's useless anyway. Baby sergeants. Uh, that's close to the upper stage of Vanguard. Casters are the boosters that we're looking for for the side of it, but probably a more advanced caster. We've got 10 applicants. We might as well get them as researchers then. We can't even get more people on that pad. We've got engineers just sitting around too. Okay. Guess we can launch. Okay, SAS on, throttle up. We probably didn't need the pressure and temperature scan. The visible imaging will still be useful. Okay. I guess. Ignition. Ah! Oh, I finally got us. Test flight got us. Okay, uh, nope, not that. Alright. Ignition. And launch. I think that'll be good enough. Okay, just return home safely. So, let's uh, dump the rocket. And hope we don't hit it on the way back down. Okay, fairly effective so far. Okay, um, no more recovery. It's fine. Okay. Please. No more recovery. Oh gosh. It's getting me back for letting the other one survive, you see? 
guess we can go to tracking station and pick it up. But will it read that we recovered it safely? Will the contract be fulfilled? Cover. Well, we got science credits. I think it was already okay with it. So... Film return thing? How high does I have to get? 100? Can we do both? No, we can't. Okay, fine. Vamp C for camera. It's too tall. Great. Fine. I guess maybe we should start building the next one. While well, that's rolling out. Downrange, 3,000, it's, uh, we'd probably need the upper stage for the downrange. But uh, 35 units of sounding payload, plus a biological sample capsule. With type, biological sample capsule or biological sample capsule. Hmm, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay. So, they, I think they just want this one. It's so small. It looks weird. And then we have to have 35 units of sounding payload. We should have lots of space in here. Suddenly everything's Vanguard. I didn't even use the Vanguard engine in the ESSA series. Okay. Well, let's just prepare this. We'll definitely have smart ASS on the job. So, we need to go above 100 kilometers and downrange 200. So, ignition. And launch. No, 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 no. Okay, stop. It, no, no, no. Ah, okay. We can go that way if you want to. But. I was trying to go this way. Hey. I think the actuation on the fins is just too much. This is really weird. Okay. Can you try that now? Do not lose control. Well, we sort of didn't lose control during the first 50 seconds. And that's what you mean by losing control. It's not the orientation I want to come down with, but... Did you get much science? Well, we can't check right now. Well, we can, but I'm not going to. Are we gonna get the bouncy thing again? Yeah. Oh, it, it worked. We got a lot of science there. Well, I mean, not a lot compared to where we're at because we've unlocked all the technologies, though. So that's a rub. Okay, well, we've got uh, Vamped B with the biological sample experiment, hopefully. We're not really accumulating much money. Suborbital research. This doesn't require... Well, it requires either one of these. Which one can we finish first? I think the downrange thing we can do pretty quickly. But then again, we'll have three or four of these done. And uh, the advanced biological suborbital experiment isn't much heavier. I think we can do this suborbital research one first. That's optional. We're not doing optional. Let's pick this one up. And then the advanced one needs 200 units of sounding payload. Okay, where's the advanced one? That, that'll have an unlock cost as well. And then we also have to have 200 sounding rock payload. We've got the space for it. Uh, it's a lot tighter on getting to space with it. I'll, uh, we'll omit the TV camera stuff. Okay, you're rolling out that. Can we keep it going up? 
<laughs> this time. We have our bigger launch complex already built. Even though I slowed it down. We're probably spending a lot of money on that. Really, we really need to just go straight up, okay, game? Um, let's see. That's all waiting. We'll just start that. Okay, and... Yeah, there's no downrange part to this. So... Ignition. And launch. Maybe I should tune these down or something. Five point five. I think it was just that the fins were actuating too much. I'll get it to space at least, why not? Okay. Okay. Separation. Very nice. Not in the water this time, thankfully. Okay, well, we have to get the contract. So, the rest is all optional. Capstone. Oh, we need a surface velocity of 2,000. I've missed that. Well, we'll see. We'll see how far off we are. And then adjust. Ignition. And launch. Now let's tune these down again. Six is fine. Getting pretty high up though. Yeah, it probably wants it to maintain this speed for a while. I'll cut it there. Hopefully we'll have the surface speed when we cross the boundary. We could probably go a little bit slower. Okay, so just return home safely. We will separate, activate the parachute. And that's running, but it'll take a while. That one takes a long time, so. Well, that part blew up. Water again. Uh, okay, normal. Okay, got it. Alright, so I think we have finished this suboral research thing. But we do have some time left. But then again, it doesn't pay very well. So we should just complete it and go ahead and do the early satellites light which will pay better but then again are we ready for that <laughs> uh, maybe we'll let it run for a little bit while we're doing this one we need the two downrange milestones and for that we're going to need an upper stage in fact exactly the same upper stage that we're going to have on our other rocket can we unlock it when can we unlock it 